I don't know if this is good news. I don't know if this is a red herring. Minister of Public Utilities, Marvin Gonzalez, he is optimistic that within the next three to five months, 70% of the country will have 24-7 supply of water. In three to five months, he's optimistic. I hope for the best. I expect nothing, not one thing, because... I don't know what is the point with the timing of such a long promise right now, especially given the fact that the Met Office just said and WASA put us on a, on a water restriction um, at the, at the, at more or less at the start of this month or, or late last month. Um, you're now telling us this now, really? So we're just going to solve it just like that? Um, I, did hear, I did hear in my house that they're looking to put a water, a well, dig a well on the grounds of the president's house and some people in the area against it. I don't know if, I mean, if we, if we could find enough water to give 24 some supply to part, most of the country, and necessarily saying about the rest of the country, I'm all for it. Honestly speaking, why don't we just move on? <laughs> because uh, how often are we here? Are we promised a 24 seven supply? No, to he's how many optimistic. Yeah, he's, okay. It's not even a promise. Thank you for correcting me, he's it's optimistic. It's not even a promise. But, you see, the attitude is right in the sense that now is a dry season. As much as you can get done in terms of WASA's infrastructures is absolutely crucial for when the rainy season comes, especially as it relates to water trapment um, and runoff supplies of water. I mean, one of the biggest issues that we had last week was turbidity at, um, at various booster stations. Yeah. Um, and, and that affected um, various areas who are used to a regular supply of water and not being able to get water. 70% of the country receiving a steady water supply within the next five to how many months? Five to seven months. Um, optimistic about Three that. Three to five months. I am. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll wait to see. I'll, 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 I'll just, I'll it, be it's just I'm, I'm, I'm not entirely optimistic. I, I can didn't, tell you. Didn't four, administra four administrations ago promise water for all? We talking, we're not talking people power. I'm talking UNC, I way remember, back in the 90s. I remember when Mustafa Abdul Hamid was campaigning, I think, what was it, back in 2009, um, that, that he says we, we're promising 100% water supply for all in so many it, years. But, but, but then, but the Pandey's um, administration also promised water for all? Yes, it's always one of the goals. It's always one of the goals and one of the aims and one of the promises. So, so my thing is, how is it so simple to solve unless he's been hiding stuff from us? It's not simple to solve because it's 70% of the country. And by the way, 70% of the country, there's so many things that go with that one statistics. Yep. Precisely what are the areas that include 70% of the country? Are those low-lying areas or those high-lying areas? What does it also mean in terms of infrastructure? Are those highly populated areas highly or low-populated populated areas? areas? So 70% could mean anything, you know? Uh, it's, it leaves out about a third. And I w so if that is the case, uh, that's a 24-7 supply. That's another aspect of it. Is 70% of the population currently even receiving a three-day supply of water, two-day supply? So. All of the things, all of those things you have to examine, yeah. and quite frankly, I'll just wait to see what the next five months holds so when the rains come. The cynic in me will say they'll solve that problem, but then the amount of leaks they'll have to deal with, I very much doubt they'll be prepared for that. That's just an assumption on my part, folks. Just to mention the last story, um, there's still things happening. There's still reports being sent into the Commissioner of Inquiry over the Paria tragedy. I, I can't get over this fact that a report from the Institute of Surveyors recommending that Paria map um, its pipelines in the Gulf of Paria. That's apparently now been sent. Paria has more or less condemned the recommendation, saying they haven't had a chance to respond to it. LMCS um, agrees with it. That's not my issue. My issue is why is this still taking so long and when? If ever, will we see report? I only included this key on this morning just to more test to bring up the fact that the situation with Paria has not been resolved and I don't know how close it is to resolve. And, and this is not that big of, a, a, of, a, of an important event, except just to highlight, it's still not over.
Well, I think the recommendation is having to actually map the pipelines uh, that uh, are part of Paris infrastructure because um, what is being suggested is that the pipe in which the men tragically lost their lives um, were built uh, 50 to 70 years ago. Mm. So the topography has changed quite a bit um, over that time. Um, it is very important, but um, yes, why is it still going on? Why have we reached a stage with, with nothing more to speak about? But a year and a half now but, is where but, we reached, right? And there's no, n no sense of closure for anybody involved. But I think the other issue that has been raised since this tragedy has occurred, and now with this being added to the report, or one of the recommendations being added to the report is precisely what are the um, industry standards that are being practiced in terms of best quality, in terms of health and safety? What, I in other words, is Pyra just a fly-by-night company? Or are there really somebody who in the industry who's actually it, up to par? Listen, all I know for certain is that the board did not know how to deal with a crisis and had to bring in, had to call in a relief pitcher in, in the form of the Minister of Energy. 